What is up guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'll tell you the top 5 brawlers that are underrated in Brawl Stars in my opinion. Now, let's just get straight into the video. Lou is such a good brawler, but sadly, I see barely any people playing him. But he is really good in general and I think he is highly underrated. He used to not do damage with a super at all, but they added damage to a super which made it really good because the people cannot heal up when they are in lose super which made him such a good brawler and still people just didn't play him that much lose super is amazing it gives you a ton of area control and also it is extremely good in hot zone as it can just cover the whole area and they have nothing to do except either back away or they're just gonna get stuck in your super which is not good another thing that he has that is really amazing is his gadget now his gadget applies even more pressure the one that makes the super freeze them even more which is just an amazing gadget and i don't know why people aren't using lu that much now lu's gears are really good he has that gear that makes it able to get lu's super even faster which is basically a supercharge rate gear and another gear he has which is the legendary one now the legendary one isn't the best it's okay i think it does uh when you throw your super and the enemy is on your super they deal 10 percent less damage or something like that it's not the best, but it's not bad. And let's not forget Lou's Hypercharge. Now, that Hypercharge is super amazing. I would say it's like top 10, even top 5. In my opinion, it is my favorite Hypercharge. But I just feel like people forget what Hypercharge Lou has. And I think Lou is more of like a skill brawler. So people don't really use Lou that much, even though he is super good. Now, do you guys remember the Frank meta? Or the Kit plus Draco meta? Or the hot zone it was gray plus rosa plus bb meta if you played lou during that time you know that you would counter those comps as lou was such an amazing brawler to just counter it and you asking the reason why now the reason lou was such a good counter to those comps was because he has a star power which how much freeze area they have on them they do less damage which would be really op and just help out your whole team and you would just dominate the battlefield. And another reason that it was even easier to counter those comps was because they were tanks and they would just start rushing you. And Frank was even easier to counter because before he starts attacking, he has to wait a bit before attacking. You know, that's just Frank's mechanics. And that made Lou's attack really easy to hit. But I wish Lou was played even more, but sadly he's not that meta. And maybe that's for a reason because Lou is pretty annoying. But Lou is such an underrated brawler in my opinion and you should try him out if you didn't play him for a while. Now the next brawler is Primo. Tell me why I barely see Primos in matches. Like I don't know why I barely see Primos in even ranked but he counters like almost all of the tanks. Now if you do know how to play Primo, name me a tank that can really counter him. Like I have none. Like, he can also counter Shelly's if you know how to counter Shelly's. It's not about, oh, if Shelly was far away. I'm talking about, like, if you're playing, like, a normal match and, like, you're just walking up. You can pretty easily kill her. And because of that tank trait that Primo got, that when someone attacks him, he gets his super slowly, that just makes Primo such a good brawler to play in general, which I don't understand why people don't play him. Now, if you said bull, if you're playing Primo, you're not gonna let the bull kill you. You're not just gonna walk up to the bull and be like, yeah, just kill me, bro. Like... You're gonna keep a distance, of course, and if you know how to keep a distance, he's not gonna do that much damage to you. This is why I don't think Bull is that good as a tank. He is really good if you know how to play him, but I don't think he's good in general. Also, if the Bull does come close to you or he surprise attacks you, you can just yeet him away with your gadget. Like, who counters Primo? I'm not sure what tank that counters Primo. Maybe there is some, like maybe Jackie does. I don't think so though. I think Primo still counters Jackie. Also for Primo, he has the same gear as Lou, which makes his super charge even faster, which is amazing. Let's also not forget about Primo's hypercharge. Now I think that hypercharge is underrated. I do not see much people saying that it's a good hypercharge, but in my opinion, it is such a good hypercharge. But I mainly say this because of Brawl Ball. Basically, if you get Primo's hypercharge in Brawl Ball, what you can do is, if you have the ball and you're close to the net, you can throw the ball, activate your hypercharge, super, and everyone's just gonna be in the air, you can take the ball and score it in. Like, it's such an easy goal, and this is what makes Primo's hypercharge really good, and extremely good. Like, 
Primo, such an underrated brawler. You should use him in ranked if you have him a pretty good level. He's pretty much underrated and he does counter a lot of tanks if you know how to play him, like even Draco. Another brawler that I think is underrated is Chester. Now, Chester isn't the best brawler, yes I can agree with that, but since his rework, he is pretty good, but I felt like just people just forgot about his rework. Like, that star power rework is really good that they put the 4 stage bell as his normal base kit, but I do not see people using Chester that much. He is such a great brawler. He is super fun to play. He's just like a gambler. You're just gambling your supers. You're like, oh, what am I gonna get? Am I gonna get luck here? No. And he's just an extremely fun brawler to play. He is really good to just counter a lot of brawlers. He isn't the best, but I do think he is a bit underrated. People just forget about him and they don't really look at him because of his big nerfs that he got. Now, I honestly think that Chester might get back to the meta if they add a hypercharge to Chester because just that I don't know what kind of hypercharge you can add to Chester like he's gonna be the ultimate gambler but yeah that is for Chester and let's go to the next brawler the next brawler is Cordelius now his downfall must be researched what happened he's such a good brawler his super is so good his gadgets are good and his hypercharge is amazing it is really good to just it's like a free kill what happened to him? Barely any people play him. If you go to solo showdown, you can see like maybe one Cordelius in a match, in like a high trophy match. It's like, what the heck? What happened to Cordelius? Now, even with the nerfs, he's just a broken brawler in general. Like, his super is just an OP thing. It's like, no matter how much nerfs you add to it, it's still gonna be good. Unless they like, nerf the time of the super to like 3 seconds, it's gonna be bad then. But other than that, like he's such a good brawler. They're gonna have to nerf his like damage very low for him to become bad. But for some reason, people just forgot about him. Now another reason why Cordelius is so good right now is because of the Lily meta. Lily can go in the Shadow Realm. You can also go in the Shadow Realm as a Cordelius, so you can counter the Lily pretty easily. And for some reason, people don't see this and they don't play Cordelius, which I do not understand. Now, the last brawler is Eve. Now, I know Eve isn't that much underrated, like people do use Eve still, but I do think that more people should be using Eve because people would say like Angelo is better than Eve, but in my opinion, Eve was always the better brawler, but that is just me specifically because of her super. Now, I'll tell you why, and the reason is Eve's super just gives you so much area control of the map. It pushes your enemies back so much because they can't just do anything and they're gonna start losing their ammo too. So that gives Eve and your teammates so much area control if you're playing free free, for example, knockout. Also, she has really good gears, like her gears are amazing. The plus one extra hatchling and also the one that makes her attack even faster. And yeah, that comes to the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching, if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and subscribing, otherwise have a good day and see you later.